G'day guys, welcome to this week's video. I'm Joe from Joel Bluers, and as you can hear, we're out here doing what I absolutely love. We're out on the rocks. I've got a little bit before daylight here. We've got a really good tide this morning. Um, had a big high through the night, dropped out to a nice low. So we're gonna have a little spin for Jew here on daylight. I'm gonna throw a few um, plastics around the wash here. Of course, a Jollop Country Buster. Let's go see what we can catch. Hopefully, uh, I can land some fish for you guys. Coming out yesterday trying to film something for you guys and we just lost Big Taylor after Big Taylor. So fingers crossed we can make something happen. Sit back, enjoy. Hope you like this one. All right, here we go. Let's make something happen. Oh, there's a bite. Yep, we're on. Oh, yep. I don't know what we've got here. Let's see, I'd say it's a tail lot. Right? A bit hard for you guys to see, they've got me light on, but you probably can't see much yet. Alright, what do we got? Feels like a tail. Let's have a look. Oh, Dewey! Yes! <laughs> Dewey, how good, right? I'm gonna give you a quick look at this little guy. There he is, beautiful little school Jew. The old bait junkie there, smash that 4.2 inch minnow. How good. Gonna get this little guy back and uh, hopefully one day we see him when he's 50, 60 pound. Awesome. Woohoo! What a start. See you later, little buddy. Come again, mate. Yeah, enjoy that. Woohoo! You beauty. Jill, you'd say. Oh, this is a better one. Yep, this is a good one. Oh, it's a lot better. Pulling drag and everything. I'm trying to pull drag, I should say. Where is he? See him down in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's not big, but he's a nice one. Try and get him up. I'm bigger than the last one, anyway. Oh, yeah, that's a better one. <laughs> yeah. That's a better Jewy. That's a that's a nice schoolie. All right, give you a look at this guy. Alrighty, that's a better one. Look at that sun there in the background. Get a still photo of that. All right, there he is. The old 4.2 inch bait junkie does it again, and he is a lovely, lovely Jew. Beautiful fish. How good's this? Second one for the morning. Pretty stoked. Let's get this guy back. All right, buddy. Look at that. How good. See you, mate. See you when you grow up to be a 50 pounder. Right, that's the little thing there that's still on the, the damage this morning. Just in the pink and a bit natural underneath, love that. Always been a fan um, for pink for Jewfish, so. Now let me tell you, I'll give credit where credit is due. These Bay Junkie Jig Heads, they are dead set the real deal. Now a couple of things I've worked out this weekend with these particular Jig Heads. First thing is, man, they just do not come off with this. Um, type of plastic it's harder normal other ones on the market they just keep pulling off but that 
I've just caught two dew on that and I've been throwing that for half an hour and I have not adjusted that. And that is as it was. Secondly, must be the uh, positioning of the eye here and of the uh, tie point and the shape of the front of the jig head. When I'm winding it, it holds down. It doesn't come up. It doesn't rise to surface like other ones in the market. I was watching it yesterday in the clear water and it would swim down right to my feet, really hold my step. So for what I do here, that's absolutely game changing. So absolutely love this guy. That's a uh, 601 ounce, perfect for what we're doing here. And check out this backdrop. That is unbelievable. Due to, let's go make it number three. Let's go again, probably just have a couple more casts here and we'll start uh, moving around now. See if we can get a few more on the board. That was a, it was a lovely fish that. They don't all need to be 40, 50 pound fish to have fun. That, that was a really nice fish and give me a good fight there. Feels Taylorish this one. Yeah. Oh no, maybe not. Might be another Jew. Not a bad fish. Oh, there's another Jewy. Just popped off there. Never mind. Yeah, good. Alrighty guys, we're back here now on the Jollop Lua factory slash boat shed here. Um, we had a great week uh, there on holidays and caught some really great fish that you're going to see over the, the video you've just watched and uh, some upcoming content. But uh, just quickly want to talk to you about two uh, really cool little things that I spoke about in my video. One being the bait junkie jig heads from Dobawa and uh, the second one being the old 4.2 inch minnow there. Of course I'm a lure maker and uh, I love throwing my own big kanji busters there but um, you know when that fishing's tough and uh, it's pretty whether it's windy or you got a front come through and the fish are a little bit shut down you know and a lot of smaller fish around this combination is absolutely deadly. Now I hear a lot of feedback saying oh they're hard to put on jig heads etc 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 well if you get the right jig head for the job it's actually not that hard. Just going to quickly run through it here now and show you why I really love these jig heads. We've got our soft plastic here you can just measure up the side there, roughly see where he's going to come out. We uh, start to feed down the centre the best we can. Once we get to that point where we think he needs to come out, we just poke the hook out like so. Now, uh, once it goes over those little barbs there on that keeper, 
it does not come off. So normally I just grab it down here, get a bit of leverage on it and push him on. And that is the perfectly rigged bait junkie 4.2 inch minute. Ready to roll for some schoolies in the wash. Now, um, this is what I absolutely adore of this jig head. I'm holding him by the head there, as you can see. And these things do not pull off the jig head. I physically can't get that off. I'm starting just to move it there now, and that's a lot of pressure on that. To me, is a game changer, especially when you're fishing in the dark, um, it's hitting rocks, etc. You're not having to check it all the time and readjust it up onto the jig head. So I really love these guys, and for me, it's just another option. Um, when I'm out in the rocks or the headlands, the wall, um, just another option other than my kanji buster. So, um, won't go into too much with targeting the jig. I'm going to do that in another video uh, coming up in the coming weeks. We're going to sit down, we're going to really talk through the tackle. Um, we're going to really talk about when to target them, um, how to target them. Uh, basically, yeah, narrow it down, um, try and give you guys the best chance you do of, uh, of catching one of those beautiful fish. Now, Wall in this video, we never caught monsters. They don't have to be big, I think. There's a lot of um, emphasis on 50, 60 pound fish, like how good it is to catch a 30 kilo fish. And while that is great and they're fantastic big fish, a Jew fish, in my opinion, a school Jew is a school Jew. It's, it doesn't matter how big they are, you're catching them on lures, by yourself, off the rocks. There's no better thrill. So definitely don't get caught up in if you're not catching those big fish. It'll happen. I fished so long before I caught my first proper big one. So these things just take time. And now, personally, I could just catch, like in this video, those school Jew every day I went out. And it doesn't bother me. It's good fun. They fight. They still fight good in the right tackle. So, uh, Guys, if you enjoyed this, uh, leave us a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are excited to know all about Jewfish, the ins and the outs. It'll probably be a lengthy video, but it'd be definitely worth your while to watch. Hit that subscribe button. Hit it, give us a like, get that algorithm doing its thing, and uh, let us know what you want to see next. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you next time.